Hey there, this is Teresa, and let's talk abundance. And today I want to talk with you about a practice of abundance that I think everyone understands and gets, but we oftentimes have a really difficult time practicing. I'm going to bet you've probably heard the idea that in order to, we need to make room for the abundance that we want in our lives. And oftentimes that process of making room for it involves letting go of the things that we're holding on to that, that prevent or block the abundance we want from coming to us. Now, those things that we hold on to can be physical things. It can be, you know, clutter in our homes or or, th you know, pictures or photos or old books or you name it that we don't want to get rid of for some reason, even if we don't even like it or aren't using it anymore. Uh, we can hold on to uh, roles that we play, mother, daughter, sister, um, child. We can hold on to titles that we've earned or, or jobs that we have that we maybe no longer enjoy, but, but we hold on to them anyway. We can hold on to relationships that, that no longer serve us or feed our spirit. We can hold on to money for sure. And yet, when we hold on to things, we're not as open to receive those things that we say we want. And in fact, in holding on to things so tightly, we actually diminish or completely block our experience of abundance in each moment and unintentionally create unnecessary scarcity for ourselves. Now, I wanna give you um, a demonstration here that will help you understand, first of all, why it's important to let go, and secondly, why so many people have a difficult time letting go. You see, far too often, when people think about letting go, they jump from A to Z and forget a really important step in the process. So if you've got a pen like this or a marker or pencil that you can grab right now and, and do this along with me, I think that will be great. It will create a muscle memory for you. And if not, just watch me. So I've got this red pen right now and I'm holding on to it really tightly. And I'd like you to do that with your, your pen or pencil right now too. So I'm holding onto it really, really tightly. Now, when I'm holding onto it this tightly, is there room for anything else to get in my hand? Of course there's not, no way. But more importantly, notice if you're holding onto yours really tightly, what your experience is of holding on to this pen so tightly. I don't know about you, but my whole hand is starting to hurt and my, my arm is feeling really tense and sore. And if I, if I held on to it a bit for a while, you know, I'm gonna create pain for myself. It's not a pleasant experience. Now, if somebody came along right now and said, well, well, you just need to let go of the pen, you know, what that's gonna look like, probably in my mind, is this. I let go of it, and now what do I have? Nothing. Now granted, I have an open hand so that something new can come in like this pen, but I don't know that's gonna happen. And so when I'm holding on to something tightly, it's oftentimes because I'm afraid of the nothing that I might experience if I let go of it. I'm afraid of that open space. I'm afraid of not knowing what's going to happen. I'm afraid of the emptiness. Even if in my head I know that that emptiness is what creates the opening for me. So when I'm noticing that I'm having a difficult time letting go of something, or I observe in my clients that 
they're just not wanting to let go or they're afraid of letting go of something. And again, a belief, a habit, a behavior, a relationship, money, something very, very tangible that they're holding on to and they're afraid to let go of it. I remind them that the first step of letting go is simply being willing to let go. Being willing to let go looks more like this. I haven't let it go. I've just been willing to let it go. And sometimes when I'm willing to let it go, it's going to go away. Sometimes it's not. It's like I still have the pen, but I also have peace and comfort in my hand, in my arm. And there's also space for other things to come in, like a gift. And maybe when I realize the gift that comes in, this may go away again. And then maybe there's room for something else to come in, maybe even money. And maybe even that thing that I was willing to let go of will come back. Now, of course, when, when we get all these great things that come to us, our, our tendency is like, oh, oh, wow, I got it, I want it, I want it. And can even when wonderful things come to us, the abundance that we want, can we stay in a stance of openness, of being willing to let it go so that something even better or more supportive and empowering can come in? Can we be willing to let go and have something even more precious come in? Like peace. So rather than focus on letting go and then fearing that nothingness, that empty space, that unknown, I invite you instead to begin to practice being willing to let go. Just be willing. Open your hand. Something may leave and something wonderful may come in. Or maybe you'll just be open and relaxed and peaceful and waiting. But that sure beats this. And again, it's, what's, it's what allows peace to become part of your life. This is Teresa, and we're talking abundance. But it's not just about talking abundance. It's about living abundance. So go out and live this practice of abundance in your life.